How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to quickly give you guys a brief review about ExpressVPN. Hopefully within five minutes, we can try to cover almost everything. But if you guys are interested in learning more about ExpressVPN with a bit of an in-depth review, you'll find that in the description down below, as well as links to pricing discounts if you guys are interested. Okay, so first of all, I just want to uh, point out that ExpressVPN uses trusted server technology, which pretty much means that they do operate their servers on RAM only. What that means is that there are no hard drives that are attached to these servers, meaning that there's no space for data to be stored in. And that's how they can uh, prove that they do have a no logs policy. And whatever little information is stored on these RAM drives will be deleted with every machine reboot as they, of course, maintain their servers. Uh, and of course, they do have a no logs policy, which they do claim and prove through independent audit reports and what an independent audit report is uh, pretty much when a third party security firm uh, approaches a let's say a software company such as express vpn and they verify their privacy policy and the server infrastructure of express vpn in order to prove that they do uphold uh, everything they claim from the no logs policy what information they collect and of course you know what kind of vulnerabilities they might be having uh, in terms of their uh, security or let's say here, Windows application assessment vulnerabilities. You can see here that there are zero critical, zero high, zero mediums, and just one low. So it's a very good result and all their independent security audits resulted in the same conclusion. Okay, now moving on to speed. Uh, if you're looking for the best speed for Express VPN, you just wanna use the lightweight UDP protocol and you should be good to go. 99% of the time, it will actually work just fine and it is the fastest protocol for ExpressVPN. And speed wise, you know, you'll notice speed drops between 10 and 30% generally, both local and international servers, though the closer the server, the better the speed is going to be. Okay, now with regards to torrenting and streaming services, all of these servers are optimized for both torrenting and streaming. And as you can tell, uh, I'm connected to the New York server right here and I have successful access to Netflix US, uh, Hulu, Disney Plus, and just all kinds of streaming services. It's very easy to unblock no matter what service you're trying to unblock, whether it's Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, and a whole bunch of Netflix libraries. Okay, so let's get into the features. Now, with regards to features, you have over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and you have the necessary security features, nothing too fancy, just the kill switch and split tunneling. And I'll have to turn this off just to demonstrate split tunneling. Let's go ahead and go to options and kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that nothing leaks out of your device and split tunneling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the VPN. You can simply choose a specific application to be routed through the VPN and the rest of your network will be left outside or the other way around where you can have specific applications bypass the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection goes through the VPN tunnel. You have a handful of protocols, but again, lightweight UDP will be the fastest one you can just switch to automatic if you want uh, and that'll work just fine because it will just adapt depending on your network but lightweight udp usually works for me you can set up some shortcuts and let's just say i want you know a website link right here we can just put netflix.com at shortcut and when I turn on the VPN, the uh, Netflix shortcut should show up right here, as you can tell, okay? Uh, and finally, if we go to options and advanced here, of course, you have the browser extensions that you can get for Chrome and Firefox, and you have nothing to worry about right here unless you want to opt out of sharing the crash reports. So that's pretty much it for ExpressVPN. It's a great VPN if you just want a really premium VPN uh, that works just fine no matter where you are, no matter your location, no matter the server you pick. It's very reliable, very consistent. It unblocks all kinds of streaming services and will hide your information. It's pretty much got the best privacy policy in the business. And uh, of course, it's a premium VPN that also comes with a premium price. But if you're looking for a bit of a discount, you'll find a link in the description down below. If you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, more of an in-depth review, you'll find that in the description as well. Of course, it's all 
all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive Express VPN for 30 days risk free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.